Hi, I'm Steve Martinelli. I'm an engineering manager at IBM focused on developer advocacy for our cognitive solutions. My team focuses on creating IBM code patterns and other content that help developers worldwide leverage Watson and other cognitive and data services. Today we're going to look at Watson's natural language classifier. So the first thing we're going to do is create one. To create a natural language classifier service, we go to the catalog and then we're going to search for natural language classifier or we can go to the Watson menu on the left. Once we identify it, we select it and then we simply hit create on the bottom right. Before we create the service, let's talk a little bit about what exactly is Watson's natural language classifier service. Watson's natural language classifier service, commonly known as NLC, allows developers to understand the meaning behind natural language text. What does this mean? It means that the service analyzes input strings and classifies them into categories with a certain amount of confidence. This is all based on the training data that you provide to the service. The power of NLC is showcased through its ability to learn from its initial training and then apply its classification on unseen complex data. This allows for the training of domain-specific models which analyze the inputted natural language strings. So what are some of the things that you can use NLC for? NLC can be applied to various industries ranging from finance to media and pretty much anything else you can think of. From regulatory compliance to social media content moderation, the ability of Watson NLC to understand and classify data that is different from its training set allows users to save time and reduce cost. And to create the service, we click on the create button on the bottom right. Now we're going to follow along the tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is download the training data set, which contains a bunch of text about weather, related questions, and the category that they go into. We'll go into that later. Then we're going to create the classifier using a curl command, and then we're going to classify some text. That's about it. And now we download the data set by clicking the link in step one. It'll appear in our downloads folder. And now we're going to create service credentials. We do that by going to the menu on the left, clicking new credential, accepting the default values, and here you can actually view the credentials on the menu. You'll see the username, password, and URL. Now let's get back to our tutorial. Before we create our first classifier, I'm going to set the username and password as variables in my terminal session. I'm also going to move the data set that we downloaded from the downloads folder into the working directory that I'm in. Now we can finally create our first classifier. We're going to copy and paste the command from the docs. Now it's time to finally create our classifier. We're going to pass in the username, password, and training data set. Now let's look at the result. We have a classifier ID and a message that says that the training is happening right now and the classifier is not yet ready. While we're waiting for the training to be completed, let's take a look at the data set in our favorite editor. The training data set is a CSV file. Each row in the file represents an example record. Each record has two or more columns. The first column is representative of text to classify, and the additional columns are classes that apply to that text. In this example, we have two sets of data we want to classify, temperature and conditions. Temperature revolves around things like, is it hot, is it cold, things that are measurable in degrees. Conditions, we're referring to things like sunny, cloudy, rainy. For best results, the inputted data should be between 5 and 15,000 rows of text. Each line has a maximum length of 1024 characters. Watson NLC also supports Arabic, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Spanish. All right, now let's check in on our classifier by issuing a get call. And we can see that the classifier is available. So let's start classifying some text. To classify text, I'm going to copy and paste the command from the documentation and update the parameters, username, password, and classifier ID. Now let's try to classify some text. We're going to try to classify how hot will it be today. And you can see based on the output that the temp it's 99% certain that it's related to temperature. Let's try another call. Will there be a hurricane today? Now you can see here it's also 99% certain that it's related to a condition. 
Now we're gonna try one more text to classify. We're gonna ask it, how hot is it in Toronto? As you can see, the results were 99% certain that this question is related to temperature. For the final part in our tutorial, we're gonna delete the classifier. At the bottom of the tutorial is a link to the API documentation. This, contain, this contains details about each supported method, like listing, creating, deleting classifiers, as well as code snippets for using curl, Python, and Node.